Open the floor for questions for Juwan and Bryce. For either of you guys, I know going in, Coach and Sam was talking about the last meeting in December. He said you guys got out toughed, especially in that second half. How much was that a chip on your guys' shoulder to, to be the aggressors, the more physical team from start to finish? Um, we emphasized the two days of practice. Like, you know, um, the second half we had when we went up there the first time was unacceptable. And I scored 52 points in the second half, which is a very lot of points for a team in the Big Ten for sure. But, you know, Coach did emphasize just the phys physicality point. Um, you know, um, it wasn't nothing special, nothing nothing like we never done before. You know, just go out there, just play our defensive edge, had a defensive edge. And that's what we did, you know. I think we continue to just play defense like this. It's going to be a very, very great run for us in the next month or so. So um, today was a great, great field, just having a full game of defense and we're going to continue doing it. You know, it felt like you really got Minnesota out of its comfort zone defensively. Just what went into that defensive performance? What do you think you were able to do today? Um, just attention to detail. Um, every team in the country scouts, but it's all about execution. Um, limiting what they want to do and figuring out how we can make our weaknesses our strengths and their strengths uh, their weaknesses. And we executed all our matchups. We executed um, at, our, at our highest level so far, and we took them out of their game, and they only had 55 points, and that's probably the lowest they had all, all, all season so far. What did, they, what did they want to do that you took them out of? I mean, like I said, they just wanted to be tough. They wanted to. I knew they thought we were going to be soft with how we played last game. I mean, uh, how we played uh, at their place, but um, – the game plan was just to be out to help them. I mean, they're going to shoot shots at, uh, and they're going to attack the glass, and we just have to keep them off the glass and no second chance points. Well, you had four threes. Anything in the shooter out or leading into it that made you think this was going to be one of those nights? No, no, just, just confidence. I mean, um, teammates was finding me, you know, wide open shots, like you say. Um, it's nothing too special. You know, they find me wide open, I'm going to take them shots. They trust me to take them shots. Um, you know, I put a lot of work in on my shot over the year and two years I've been here with Fred. So, you know, it's nothing nothing special at all. You know, I'm, I'm wide up, I'm going to shoot it. You know, no matter if I make it up, miss, oh, they're going to think me. They're going to tell me shoot the next one, I'm wide up for sure. So it's more just a confidence thing for myself. Bryce, you were smiling. Did you see something from him that knew that you knew it was going to be a good night for him? I just like seeing my boys go off. Um, it doesn't really matter whose night it is, whether it's K-Save, Rink, me, um, Juan, or if it's CJ or anybody down the line. I just want everybody to – you know, go crazy and have that moment. And today was Juan's day, and he was having moments, and I was just happy for him, and I was happy to be a part of it. And I just like playing like that. It's just the energy, energy just contagious, and I'd rather just play like that than not have any at all. For either one of you, how did the home court atmosphere, the fans, kind of help help everything today? Um, I like it's always been all season. You know, um, the fan, the fan base is just something like like a, it's like a Sunday, like a cherry on top of us for sure. Um. You know, just the energy, like the, you know, just the noise and stuff. Like, you just feel the energy. Like, you know, they energy come off us, and they're, I mean, just bring all the energy towards us. So I just feel like, I feel like it's March and February myself. So, you know, I, I give a lot of credit to our fans. I love support. I love they come out every game. Um, things like our fourth, third game we sold out this year. You know, it's been a very fun season just seeing the crowd, like, just enjoying us play for sure. Minnesota's coach said that after the game, he told us guys that, you guys were what a possessed team looks like, and the fact that you, you just wanted it more. You were the more desperate team. Do you guys feel that right now? That there's yeah. um, something happening right now? I mean, we turned the tides, and we got our road win. Obviously, we've been taking care of home. We we know that every night we got to go out there and be tough, um, and and we're making that turn heading into March. And that's where that's what you want to do. You don't want to come out and be too high and then level off. You want to be on an uptick trending upward as the season goes on. And that's what we're doing right now. We're figuring out what works. We're staying with what works, and we're going to keep doing what works. How much did just seeing a couple shots go down improve confidence on offense and kind of get you rolling, especially in the second half? Um, we knew the first half, um, we had some very good looks. You know, it just wasn't, just wasn't falling in. Like, like you've seen, Sam had a wide open layup that it legit went in and out. Um, just one of the first pass we we probably had before during the season. But in the day, like, our defensive edge was, was there for sure. Um, like our mindset is never let our defense affect our offense. You know, we was playing our best defense in that first half. So the second half more of continuing on defense, but let's up the let's up the ramp of the offensive side. So you know, once some few shots went in, you know that confidence of ours, you know, rise up to a whole nother level, you know, see one or two shots going, then rise up to three or five. So, you know, stuff like that. Just more it's a game of basketball, you know, you're gonna have a good first half, you're gonna have a good second half, bad first half, good it don't matter what it is, and they just stay composure, stay poised and just move on for sure. Juwan, as a follow-up to what Bryce said about this team kind of coming into its own at the right time, this is the first time under Coach Hoiberg this team hit 20 wins. How close to peaking do you think this team is at this point of the season? How close to a complete performance are, are the Oscars at right now? Um, for sure, I would definitely say like we we definitely there. Um, I think we playing our best basketball right now. Um, for sure, like this team. 
just from the beginning of the summer, like we just built that chemistry, just that love from each other. Like like Bryce said, like I re- we really don't matter who night it is, you know, K say ring, whatever. And the day like joy of just the win, like with your teammates, just seeing how happy everybody is just getting a W, like that's the best feeling you ever could have. So I think this next couple of games, you know, really gonna shape us, you know, really you know, going to shape us for March, and in the day, um, we try to make that March run, try to make that turning run, make one or two, three games, no matter how many games we're going to play in there. So we're going to see what's going to happen. We're not in our best form yet, but you know, we just taking we just taking steps every game and trying to be consistent. But you know, we're in the, we're heading in the right direction, and that's all that matters. Good job, guys. Yes, sir.